In this training, we're going to cover how to create and uh, manage a volunteer account with Fundly Connect. To start with, go to the public portal for the agency that you will be volunteering with. This may be um, an agency or a volunteer action center. They may have provided you with specific instructions. If so, it will vary from the instructions I'm giving here, and you want to make sure to go with what they've given you. But in short, go ahead and go to the Volunteer tab and click on Register. The wording may be different, but it should be clear that this is a button to create your account. Click on Register. You can either use social media or you can register with an email. On the next page, you will fill out some basic user and contact information for yourself before pre proceeding to the next step. On the next step, you will specify the causes that are int of interest to you. These cause selections will uh, impact your search ability for opportunities. Um, so if you are looking to find the largest number of opportunities possible, uh, go ahead and don't set these at this time. But in short, a cause is the major area of impact that the agency uh, is concerned with and that the opportunity will um, be connected to. You will be able to specify these on individual searches later on, which we actually will be seeing. Next, you can specify any skills that you believe that you have. This will assist uh, the agency that you are registered with to find you. If uh, they're looking for volunteers with specific skills, you will also be able to search by skills later on if, in, if interested. Additional information will have any custom fields that the organization uh, is asking of you, so this may or may not be present depending on the agency you are signing up with. Um, but if present, make sure to fill out as much information as you can. And then lastly, there may be agreements that you're required to um, well, agree to during the registration process. Go ahead and review these agreements and then electronically sign. When you are done, go ahead and click the register button and your account will be created and a verification email will be sent to you. Once you're registered, you can start reviewing, searching for, and applying for opportunities. Here we have search opportunity. This is for some basic keyword searches or address-based searches. You can also use advanced search to find opportunities. We provide a number of filters that you can use, keywords, address, and location, time period, uh, as well as a few others. A particularly useful one is appropriate for, at which point you can look for opportunities based on age and a few other things. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, go with just one of the searches we have here. To apply for an opportunity, we can simply skip ahead and hit the apply button. If you have not previously registered, by the way, during the application process, you will be asked to do so. Otherwise, you can simply uh, select the one you want. Let's go to teach for six. And you will be presented with the details for this opportunity as entered by the agency. Now here we don't have too many. If you want to apply, just go ahead and hit apply. In this case, it's actually going to prompt me to log in because I forgot to do so. And upon being logged in, it will take me to the final step. Now in this case, there is nothing here I need to do. I just need to simply hit submit application. Depending on how the application, the opportunity how it was created, you might be given an application form, which you will be required to fill out. If so, please fill it out to the best of your ability and for all completeness, um, because this will help determine, help the agency determine whether or not to accept you as a volunteer. Depending on how, also, once again, depending on how they create the opportunity, you may or may not be immediately added as a volunteer for the opportunity or you may go into a, a pending status, at which point they will have to review and approve your application. If you wish to see the opportunities you have applied for and manage them, we can do this from the dashboard of your account. So I'm going to appear to my name, dashboard. Here I will see all the opportunities that I am signed up for. Here I have actually quite a few, uh, most of them in early stages. The first is pending approval. This indicates that the agency is still, has still yet to approve me and they're still reviewing my application. So uh, not too much I can do here. The next one is pending orientation and training. This indicates that I need to go to some sort of training session 
orientation session uh, with the agency before they will allow me to continue to being a volunteer with them. You can either contact the agency and they can schedule you on from their side, or for your ease, you can click under next steps, pending orientation and training, and you can select which orientation, here I just have the general orientation, the location, the shift, and the date on which you wish to attend. So here it's going to be at the downtown office, doing the morning session, it may be named something different, and I can pick what date I wish to go, at which point hit save and close. And you will be set as pending attendance, and your next step will be to actually go to the orientation, at which point the agency will mark you as having attended, and you can proceed to the next step. That next step is to schedule. Now, once again, depending on how this, the opportunity was created, you may be allowed to schedule yourself, indicating when you're going to go, or the agency may be handling this with you from their side. If you are allowed, click on scheduling. And similar to how, how we did with our orientations and training, select where, which shift. So this is a simple one, just a default shift. Depending on the configuration, there may be multiple positions that you'll be filling, and then indicate when. Now, this is a very simple one. It's on a single day, um, uh, excuse me, time period. There are not specific days that I'll be applying for. In other cases, you may have to set what day of the week or specific dates that you will be going. Once done, you can go ahead and save. If this opportunity does have multiple shifts, that will not conflict with your schedule and you can do multiple of them, you will have the option to go save and add new and sign up for multiple shifts. So for example, you could sign up for a Monday and a weekend shift if you so desired. Once you are scheduled, it's time for you to start volunteering. So as time progresses, you'll show up, do your activity, help out the organization, being an awesome volunteer, and you will want to start recording the hours that you are performing. Now, once again, I mentioned this a few times, depending on configuration, you may or may not be allowed to schedule your own hours. So the agency may be logging hours for you. If so, nothing further needs to be done here. If they are not, we can go to log hours, select which shift, so as mentioned, you may have multiple, and on what day you did what hours and what you did. This you would then save and close or simply save if you're doing multiple. Those will be passed to the organization for them to verify and approve. And uh, that's it. So at this point, you have everything you need to uh, work with your account. You know how to register, apply, search, and manage your opportunities. If by any chance, so as a last piece, you do need to communicate with the coordinator for your opportunity, there is the send email option here, which will allow you to email them and they will respond as needed. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact the agencies that you're working with or the Volunteer Action Center, and they will be able to help you out. Otherwise, have a great day.